Hi, right, this is Anthony with a tutorial on how to use the eyedropper tool in PowerPoint. I'm using PowerPoint 2016 in this tutorial. If you've not used the eyedropper tool before, you'll be amazed how useful it can be. With the eyedropper tool, you can pick a color from any object and then apply it to another object, just like what you're seeing right now on the screen. So let me show you how to use this. So on this slide, I've inserted a few shapes in a text box, and I also have a pastel color palette, which I'll use to demo the eyedropper tool. First, I'll use these pastel colors to color these three gray triangles, so you can see how it works. So in order to use the eyedropper tool, just right click on the object for which you want to change the color, and then choose the option to fill the color, which is this one right here, and then choose the eyedropper tool. You will see that the cursor has now changed to an eyedropper and as I hover my mouse over different areas it will change the color in that little preview box as you can see here. So now if I pick this yellow color and then left click the mouse you will see that the color of the triangle has changed to the exact same color. So let me just repeat the same process for the other two triangles. As you can see, these are the exact same colors. I can do the same for this text box below. I'll just highlight the text, and then let me choose this blue pastel color. So that's how it works. You can also use the eyedropper tool to create a gradient. So let's apply a gradient to this gray rectangle. So essentially, right-click it, and then choose Format Shape. And then you will see this Format Shape panel on the right. You can just drop down this Fill section, and then choose Gradient Fill. You will notice here that these four gradient stops are already in place. And let me just space them out. Then essentially what you need to do is just click on each of these gradient stops, and then as you click on the gradient stops, I'm going to essentially just apply that color palette right here of the pastel colors. I'm going to apply all five to each of these and essentially do that by dropping this and choosing the eyedropper tool. So let me choose this one first and do the same. I'll just change the direction of the gradient, like so. But as you can see, I've essentially applied all these colors and created a gradient. You can also use the eyedropper tool to choose colors from outside the slide. In order to do that, let me do this with this triangle right here. So I'll right click again, and then I'll use the fill and I'll use the eyedropper tool. But you'll notice that as I hover the mouse across the slide, the eyedropper tool remains. But as soon as I take it outside the slide, as you can see, the eyedropper tool is gone. So I want to apply this orangish brown color to this rectangle. So what I need to do is I need to left click my mouse and hold it and then drag it to that place let me just choose this one right here and then release the mouse and as you can see essentially the color for this rectangle has picked up from this area right here and you can do this from outside of PowerPoint as well I hope that gives you a good idea as to how it works let me quickly show you a couple more examples
Well, hope you found this tutorial useful. You will find many more PowerPoint tutorials on my YouTube channel. And if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for stopping by.